Parallels is one of the uh, gold sponsors, and Kurt is going to do uh, the first of what we're going to what we call quick talks. So these are five minute talks. They're meant to be a kind of a burst of information for you, so you can choose and understand some vendor stuff that that's out there. And the idea is not to tell you everything about a product, but that you can figure out which tables you want to talk a little bit more to. So, how Thank about you. a round of applause here for Kurt Thank from Parallels? You. So every August, Parallels releases a new version of Parallels Desktop. This year was not an exception, so a few months ago in August, we released Parallels Desktop 14. So in my quick talk today, I'm going to show you two features of, new features of Parallels Desktop 14 and let you look at the other ones later. So we know from our user reports that people are successfully using more than 200,000 Windows applications in Parallels Desktop today. And that's great. However, there were a few applications that didn't work well in Parallels Desktop 13. Here's an example. For those in the back who can't read this dialogue, what it says is, I'm sorry, SketchUp can't launch because you have too old of a version of OpenGL. I'm going to quit now. Have a nice life, OK? So this happened. This is on my machine. Let me show you what now happens in Parallels Desktop 14. Damn it. In Parallels Desktop 14, when you launch Sketch SketchUp, you can do the following. First of all, it launches. So right away, we're way ahead. This happens to be a CAD program that's used by architects and engineers. This, this, engine, this architect has designed a home for a very rich person in San Francisco. And this person is, wanted to take advantage of the wind in San Francisco to gather power for his house. You can look at the floor plan of the house. You can jump at, around and look at various views of the house. And look at the performance. It's really great. So we're real pleased about this. You'll see similar performance in other CAD applications like AutoCAD and so on. But what if you don't use a, a CAD application? What kind of performance do you see in Parallels Desktop? Well, let me show you. You may remember that a few years ago, we decided to put VMs in the dock because they're kind of like applications in the Mac. And so right down here, you see Windows 10 as an as a icon in the dock. If I close this, icon goes away, Windows isn't running anymore. Let's launch a Windows app in Windows 10. That's the speed that it now launches. You'll see similar speeds in other applications. If you want to see more features in Parallels Desktop, please stop by our table and we'll show them to you. And also, please do pick up your free gift, which is a copy of Parallels Desktop Business Edition, which is the edition of Parallels Desktop specifically designed for IT admins to do deployment and management in their clients' um, establishments. Thank you very much.